All right, welcome back, guys. So in the last video, we were here in the signing component, and we got to this point here, right, where we we added some logic to check if the user was of row one, which would signify they were an admin, and we redirected that, or we console logged that uh, redirecting to admin. Otherwise, we console log redirecting to user dashboard. So this is great because we tested that it worked however we have not created the actual functionality of sending the user off to either of these dashboards and that's what i'm going to take care of in this tutorial all right so first thing like always i have my notes here and we're going to start off by using a use history hook um, this is part of react and there are different there are, there are different ways we can redirect and react uh, one of them i know is a uh, 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 React has a, a redirect component that you can use. and But in this case, I want to use this hook here. So if I go to my sign-in component, and it's part of the React Router DOM, so I can destructure that right next to the hook, the link, and do use history. And now within the component, I can bring that in, but before I do that, I want to go into the documentation here for use history. If we go to reacttraining.com, check the documentation here, click on the use history link, and look over here. So it's saying the use history hook gives you access to the history instance that you may use to navigate. So this is going to allow us to, to navigate within our React application, which and it's also uh, uh, such as redirecting as well. And over here to the right, you see we have an example. So we destructured it just like here, and it uh, it, uh, used, it, it created an instance here, use history, and assigned it to the variable history, and then did history push home. And this home here is the URL that, in this example, it's redirecting to. So ours is going to be uh, somewhat identical, except we're going to be using a different URL. Okay, so let's go back here to the sign-in component. So I'm going to do let history, and then do use, use history. So we create a, an instance. And now we can make use of that history uh, history object. And we want to make use of that right over here, right here. So um, if they're an admin, I want to redirect them to the admin dashboard. So I'm going to do history push and then the URL. And I'm going to call this admin forward slash admin forward slash dashboard. So admin dashboard. All right. And for the user, we're going to do history push. Actually, instead of having to do all this, uh, uh, let's make it easier for us. History push, and then we're going to do this is going to be user dashboard. All right. So that's it for that. All right. So let's go over here, mark that off. And the next thing is create boilerplate user dashboard and admin dashboard component. All right, so right here in our app.js, this is the main page or the main our, our main app component. We have set up our routing system for our React application. And you see over here, we have so far just routes for handling the home page, sign up and sign in. And then a default, if none of those are found, uh, a default not found page, if there's no no or no URLs that match any of these routes here. All right, so below here, below the sign-in, I'm going to create a route. I'm going to be creating two routes. And the first one is going to be exact path, and this is for the user uh, dashboard that we just created. So it's going to be it was user, and then it was dashboard. And a component that we want to display if the if there's a matching URL with this one is user dash dashboard component okay and let's uh, do the same thing go ahead and copy this here and below paste it 
and we're just gonna adjust this to do to say admin dashboard and for the component admin dashboard all right and we have to import that here so below sign in we're gonna do import do user user dashboard from it's gonna be in a components directory um, so the current directory and it's uh, user user dash uh, dashboard all right go ahead and copy this right here and below paste do admin dashboard and admin dash admin dashboard all right so I'm going to save this and we get an error as I expected because we have not actually created the component so let's go ahead and create those two components over here on the side in components go ahead and create a new file and I'm going to call this user is user dashboard .js and then a second one a new file and we'll call it admin dashboard .js and the moment I say uh, so let's so now uh, let's go ahead and yeah go ahead and create this boilerplate as I was trying as we were doing uh, so let's start off by let's go ahead and import so import import uh, import react from react all right and we're gonna do const um, so start off with the user dashboard so it's user dashboard all right and below that ex uh, export default and then user dashboard all right and then here we're gonna do a return and let's do a simple div tag and inside of that I'm going to do inside user dashboard all right and that's pretty much it for our boilerplate code for now and go ahead and copy this whole thing right here and and paste that right inside the admin dashboard and just make some adjustments here just call it admin dashboard over here also admin dashboard and admin dashboard inside admin dashboard all right so now we have our boilerplate code set up for those two components all right so now let's go ahead and test these two let's let's go ahead and test this out so right now um we are on the sign in page all right uh before we get started or before we continue i want you to make sure that go if uh check that the local storage and your cookies is empty and if it's not go ahead over here and clear storage and click on this clear site data all right so those fields should be cleared all right so now what i want to do is to test this out is we created our boilerplate uh, user dashboard and uh, admin dashboard so this is joe j doe that um, I'm signing in as and he's a regular user so the moment that I sign in here press sign in my assumptions is that over here in the URL instead of forward slash sign in I should see forward slash user forward, uh, forward slash dashboard so user dashboard all right and also over here in the main area page the component uh, display I should see a mess something that says inside user dashboard so let's test this assumption so press sign in user dashboard in the URL and component inside user dashboard great all right so that checked out great and now we got to go ahead and check uh, for the admin right let's not cut corners so let's actually make sure that both of these actually work so as you see over here now since I signed in local storage and cookies filled in so as I mentioned go ahead right now to clear site data uh, clear storage and then clear site data all right and go go ahead and go back to the home or go back to or here we go go to the sign in page I'm sorry there we go all right this time let's sign in as Jane Doe all right she it was Jane Doe at gmail.com all right she had the same password as uh, John Doe 
So she is an ad, Jane Doe was an admin. We, we, we put her in as an admin in the last, le last lecture. So now this time, my assumption is, is that when the moment I sign in, in the URL, this time I should see forward slash admin forward slash dashboard. And here in the component area in the main page, I should see inside admin dashboard. So go ahead, press sign in. Look at that admin dashboard and inside admin dashboard great so that worked just fine all right so all right great so the next step is we want to add a use effect to redirect in sign in and sign up component all right so what i'm referring to in this in that is that right now um Actually, let, let me start off over here. Let me go, okay, sign in. I'm gonna sign in as uh, John Doe. Okay, all right, so user dashboard, all right. So if, I'm, uh, so if the user is logged in, all right, he's logged in, he's in the user dashboard, um, it wouldn't make sense if the user tries to go back to the sign in page or the sign up page, right? Uh, if they're, if they're logged in, right? The only way they should be able to be able to view that at any of those pages if they wanted to is if they logged out. So for example, right now, I'm currently logged in as John Doe, and you see inside user dashboard. But the user currently, if I wanted to, I can click this here and I can do forge slash sign in and look, I'm able to go to the sign in page and yet I'm still signed in um, as John Doe, I'm signed in and I'm also still able to, to go to the sign in page. So that's what I'm going to work on right now is so if the user tries attempts to go, if they're signed in, whether they're an admin or a user and they try to go to the sign in or sign up page, automatically we're going to redirect them. All right. So the way we're going to do that is in the sign in page, we're going to use a hook, another hook and it's called the use effect hook. And that's part of the react library. So I'm going to do use effect and right under history, I want you to do use effect. And this one, this takes in an argument, uh, a function as an argument. And as a second argument, I want you to put an empty array brackets here. And you will fill this in if you have any dependencies uh, that rely on this uh, use effect, but we, we don't have any dependencies. Um, so we only want this to use effect to one run once when the component does mount or if the component uh, any state properties were to change so we don't want it to continue running uh, so just run it once so place that inside okay so now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go uh, over here in our sign in for our sign in function uh, that logic that we had set up earlier we're gonna copy the whole if else block. Go ahead and copy that and go up because this is gonna be very, we could pretty much use the same thing here. The only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change this logic up a little. I'm gonna do else if, else if, uh, else if, and then copy this whole portion here. and then change this value from one to zero. All right, so now when this component runs, it's gonna check if the user's authentic, if, if they're logged in and they're, a role, uh, they're an admin, then redirect them, push them over to, uh, to the admin dashboard. Otherwise, if the row is zero, which is regular user, go ahead and redirect them to the user dashboard. All right, uh, I'm just deleting those console logs we had earlier. All right, so, all right, so let's go ahead and test this out. All right, so right now I'm, re uh, I'm still logged in in the user dashboard as John Doe. Let's go ahead and attempt that again. All right, so I'm gonna do forward slash sign in. And I should be redirected, it shouldn't work because now I have this logic set up. So go ahead and press enter. And you see that? It was like a split second, it was very fast. It tried to go to, to sign in, but it redirected us back to user dashboard. All right, so it worked. All right, so, but however, right now, that's because 
we're auth we have our, uh, our, our data here uh, authentic in the cookies and local storage but watch if i clear the storage clear site data and that and that's gonna that's gonna we're gonna we're gonna set up the logout functionality and that's what's actually gonna take care of that so we won't be doing this manually like we're doing here right now but right now i just want to show you so right now is so if i try to go in right now to sign in it should we should be able to go there you see and that's because i cleared the storage so um i'm not i'm considered not authenticate uh, authenticated right now okay so let's go ahead and okay so we took care of this here all right next thing is add history as a dependency for use effect okay all right so over here uh, let me see. All right, let me go. No problem. All right, right now we get an error over here. React hook use effect has a min missing dependency history here, and that is over here in our sign in component. So over here, this is actually yeah, actually I made a mistake. So there, it does have a dependency to history. So um, put history here. In history right now, uh, so this use effect will run whenever there's a, a when there, if there's a, a different value, a uh, different URL value. So each time there's a different URL value when we use history push, if it's a different value, then uh, we need we do need to have this uh, the history as a dependency for that reason. Otherwise, um, you can also get these messages here. This d d these messages with react are helpful too so it could also tell you and give you pretty much tell you what to do so um so pay attention to your to your warnings and mess and or error messages and and make the your adjustments accordingly in this case it is telling me to use uh that history is, is a missing dependency so i'm adding it here and if i save that that's gone okay so that's gone right there. And we're gonna do the same thing with um, in the sign up component. Uh, so we don't if they're logged in, we don't want them to be able to go to, to the sign sign up component. So we pretty much could just copy this whole thing right here in our sign in component, copy that whole thing. And in our sign up component, uh, go ahead and paste that right over here at the very top. And right now we have to, we're gonna get errors because we need to import some stuff. You see? Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to import the use effect. And that's part of the React Router DOM here. So we can bring that in right here. So uh, use effect, save. All right, and the next thing is uh, the history, the use history. And that is, that's, yeah, that's also part of the use history. But in order to use that history, we need to instantiate it, right? And uh, assign it to a variable called history. So do use history just like that. All right, and then let's see, it's not exported React Router DOM, the pretty use effect. Oh, I made a mistake. I was I was bringing it. I was I was bringing use effect in as if it was part of the React Router DOM library, but no, it's part of the React library. All right, so right, put use effect over there. All right, so save that, and now one more thing is authenticated. We have to import that, and that is uh, if we, let's go to the sign in component and copy this over here, um, right here. Go back to your sign up page, paste that in, and just delete. We don't need the set authentication. We all we need is is authenticated. Go ahead and save that, and our errors should go away, as you see right there. So everything works. All right. So that is it. We took care of the redirection. So now we're the you the the red we're able to redirect the logged in user or admin accordingly. All right, so that's it for now. Um, I will be seeing you in the next lecture.